your I can't remember sometimes. Oh. Uh, today I can. Oh. Dan. Dan, that's it. That's it. Dan. He told me I can project like a mofo. I never forgot it. <laughs> 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 Crystal, you're back. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine, lady. What happened? I, I didn't notice. What your knee? I uh, I was holding pizza for my kids, and I was on the phone, and I didn't see what was in front of me, and I was up, and then I was down, and so I fell right on it. Actually, the pizza was good. I saved the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're like the best mom ever. Oh my God. Ow. Remember you gave me homework and said to write <coughs> for a week, right. 20 minutes every day, right. um, and I every every <laughs> every time I wrote in there, I somehow the thoughts Susan made me do this came out. <laughs> Susan made me do this. No, it was great. It was great because I started to realize <laughs> that there's so many things going on in my head. Right. Um, I just didn't know. No one. I couldn't really figure out a thread to my story because I, I had other stories in my head. I had, you know, notes that I was taking here and things going on in life and there was right. just too much. I, there was no way I could have a, a kind of a crystal cut, no pun intended, right. story because sure. there was too much. Sure. Um, the only thing I didn't get to do was write why I wanted to write the story because then I, I was kind of preoccupied with the play I'm working on now. Um, but I start. what did happen from that was that um, I realized that one character, and I think I was just trying to stress making the female character the um, the main character, um, but she had, n I can't, still can't really find her objective in the overall play. I feel like the male character is so heavy and set on what he wants and why he goes through the extreme of, you know, right. breaking and entering into her home and, right. and, and, and doing that. It, it just seems so clear, and maybe I've just been resisting that the whole time. Um, I just don't know what to do with her now because he's very clear. Um, so I don't know if it'll be a one-man show that just, you know. Do you, would you want to do a one-man show? No, I don't. Okay. okay. I mean, you know, I mean, maybe it's a good one. You know, if you don't want to do a one-man show, the chances of it being a one-man show are reduced. Good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Journal and journaling. Assistant. Yeah. Journal no, no, because I have one already. So, so it was kind of like, one. now I have two.
She's an informal wedding planner. It's like, this is a neighborhood wedding. She's like, come on, guys, we're going to get married. Okay, great. Okay, okay. So the five-year-old gets called off the board? Yeah. Okay. It's not realistic. Uh, <laughs> or it's my version of realistic. It's okay. in my playwriting world. Okay, so what do you have to... So, like, right now I'm dealing with the 80s, I guess. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to find out how much research to give myself to inform the play without swamping myself in unnecessary bullshit. This is all really about this conversation. So how much time a day do you spend writing? I just started writing, I was directing a reading last month, so oh, it's just- What were you doing last month? How uh, much time a day do you spend? I mean, I do care, of course. I do. Well, today, today, you know, this is the day that I really start deciding how much I write a day. And how much time do you have? Let's say, let's say an hour a day. You have an hour a day, okay. So, and you have a deadline of what, August 1st? Um, August 14th. August 14th. So you're going to do the math, you're going to look at your reading. Can you write every day? Yeah. Okay, great. So I would say spend no more than like 10 minutes a day in your writing period doing research. You don't, okay. have, a lot, you don't have a lot of time. you got an hour a day. Your deadline is on the 14th of August, right? So you don't want to spend like a whole week doing research. Okay, you want to just do, just be, you know, uh, surgical about it. Yeah. I have to figure out this, this, and this, quick, boom, grab stuff, 10 minutes is over. Now I'm going to spend the next 5, 0, 15 minutes writing. And then my hour's up, and I have to go and do the next thing i got to do. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. You just, you just again, if you, if you 
had 10 hours a day to write and it wasn't due until Christmas, then we'd say, spend a couple weeks, you know, but, 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 but okay? Cool. Okay, does that help? Yeah. And it'll help you guys kind of you won't get mired in. Right, because really it's just finding what specific events for them to react to. Exactly, and that's easy. From and there to there.
personal thing. I don't. I figure if they can read, you know, can you put a blurb like two sentences, three sentences? You know, sometimes people like that. Oh, what is this about? It's about three women in, you know, in a bathtub.
lot of locations, and so how do I pitch that so that people don't think it's not producible? Right, the a oh, hundred locations, a hundred? No, like six or seven. Six or seven. With okay. simplistic thinking as far as set, but is that even my job as the writer to? I, th I think it's I think it's job like the good one. Have you seen Carol Churchill that recent play she had over at Janetta Lane or wherever that was? It had like a hundred scenes in a hundred different places. So theater, you know, has moved on. Yeah. The one thing you know, the longest journey tonight would be one set and everyone. You can have lots of multiple. Do we revisit some of those?